So, first things first, I'm going to go to the moor and kill Morgeth. Because he's a fated boss this week. What is this? Okay. Morgeth slain. That's interesting. Yeah, apparently there's a teleport to Morgeth. And it's been there for like... The past, like, two patches or something, and I've just never realized. Did no one make this obvious, or am I just stupid? Apparently it's near the Torghast entrance? Thank you, random commenter on Wowhead. You might have saved my life. I get sick to death of running through the elites every week for this. Oh, I did. I've not done this boss in some time. I think it was just the... I think I needed the leggings for the transmog. And I ended up getting them on my paladin. So I just never really bothered running it anymore. Shade hands are up. Okay, so I could do that as well. Not today. I just mean this week. Is this... Is this literally the thing that takes us to the moor? What is... Desmeteron. Oh. Does this literally take us here? This this literally takes you like to the raid entrance then. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> That's been there for so long. Hey, Sam, over on Twitch. How's it going, buddy? Also, hi, Lebage. Labage? Labag? Over on Trovo. Hi, what's up? Oh, you both doing okay? Hope you're doing well. Hope your day isn't as hot as it is over here. Oh, people are fighting him? How many people are fighting him? That looks like two people are soloing him. You know what? I'm just going to join a group. That seems like a better idea. Got some more lag spikes. That's fun. Maybe it's because I'm using the NVIDIA broadcaster as my camera app again. That caused a few issues in the past. We'll see. I'll try switching it back over, see if that fixes things in a little bit. What's the name of this expansion? This is uh, World of Warcraft Shadowlands, the latest expansion. I guess if you're not including Dragonfly Alpha, the latest released expansion. This is part of the 9.1 content, I think, that came out like a year ago. But in the new season, they've like updated all the raids to be recent, I guess. They've updated all the armor to be more powerful. The bosses have new abilities and stuff. Because it's the final season of Shadowlands, they've just sort of all gone all out. So every week they bring back one of the previous raids from this game. Shockingly, we didn't get anything. <laughs> I don't have my room for John. Also, good to hear, Sam. I'm not doing too bad. A little bit tired. Had a few weird nights sleep. Been playing WoW Classic for the longest time. <laughs> the longest time being like three days. I got to like level 70 and did some stuff over on there. Soviet Slav, how's it going buddy? It's been a while. Not seen this guy in a while. Craig hasn't. Yeah, it has, it has been a while. How you doing? I 
think you want to try some Sea of Thieves soon. New season's out. Oh, I saw something about that, yeah. Did that come out, like, was it last week something? You get to be the captain of your own ship now. Name and all. Wasn't that always the case? I, don't, I didn't play enough of Sea of Thieves to know how it properly worked. Or was it, like, one... One person was, like, the captain of a three-man ship or something. You good, you and your girlfriend moved in together and you just got done building the bed. It was a pain. Oh, man, that's great to hear. I, I mean, <laughs> not the bed part. <laughs> the moving in together part, that's great. Furniture, putting furniture together is... It can make or break a man. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I don't mind it. Occasionally. I know, um, putting together this chuffing electric desk was probably, like, the biggest thing that I've ever done. I've put, like, flat pack furniture together. That's not dreadful, but yeah, this electric desk was probably the hardest with the motor and everything as well. You're gonna study together. That's, that's so cool. I'm so happy for you, friend. You can name your ship and add more customization, and there's Captain Quest now. Oh, Captain Quest. That sounds interesting. How many people have called their ship Boaty McBoatface? I wonder. I'm assuming there's quite a lot, unless you can only... Are all the names um, unique? Like, if a name's taken, can somebody else not use it? 180 centimeters by 200 centimeter bed. That's large, right? Is that large? That's like two meters, almost two meters by two meters near enough, right? Big, almost squarish thing. Never doing it again. Yeah, don't blame me. <laughs> you stick to your coding. Coding's easier than furniture, for sure. <laughs> I'm saying that with like no coding experience. <laughs> there are filters, but you don't think they're unique. You went the Greek gods route for naming. To be fair, that's a pretty safe route. That's always cool. Alright, what am I actually doing? What do, what, do, what do we do on a weekly basis? We do night hold first. As always, we start off with the night hold run. What have you called your boat? What Greek... Can you... How many boats do you have in Sea of Thieves? I think last time we played, you had like two or three, right? You have like a two-man ship, a three-man ship, however it works. Got three so far. I need to upgrade the current one to buy more. Ah, I see. What season was it when we last played? I don't think I answered your question, by the way. Yes, I'd be, de I'd definitely be up for playing Sea of Thieves at some point. <laughs> no clue we're at season seven now. It must have been over a year ago, surely, last time we played it. In fact, in fact, when I bought it on Steam, I'm pretty sure it's like the time that we played it. I wonder if it says when I bought it. Or when I last played it, rather. I don't know how quick the seasons are in Sea of Thieves. I never know, because like every game, they're all so different. Like Halo Infinite is like a hundred days per season or something weird like that. Um, Diablo Immortal, 
Uh, each season is literally like a month long. So they're already on like season three, I think, already. They are just cranking out the seasons so that you buy battle passes every month. Worse than a World of Warcraft subscription. Three or four months, that's not too bad. Yeah, they've like started calling them seasons in WoW, weirdly. I know we've always had PvP seasons. But they've like always coincided with the update patches, so we've always like just called them patches. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing here. Oops. Yeah, we'll start with some mount runs. Can I teleport while in combat? I'm guessing the answer is probably going to be no. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. The Night Spire. So yeah, I don't actually know which weapon's going to be better. I did in a... Like I said, I did Raid Finder just to fill out my 10 faded boss kills late last night before reset. And in my in my chest today, I got a, the Animosphere for the new weapon, so it's a 265 weapon. But I've also got the Gavel at 259. I don't know if the buff from that is going to be better than, like, the item level upgrade from this. But I'll keep playing around with it. I'll see what works. New city you live in now makes it so you have to start a new gym. But there are, like, ten different ones here, so it's going to be interesting to find out which is nice. I mean... <laughs> at least you've got the choice to choose from. That sounds good. I think in my my city currently, uh, we've got. <laughs> uh, there's like a really small local one, and there's one in the center of the city, and neither of those I can get to like easy. So I I choose to be lazy and just not go. We used to have one just down the road from me, but that's shut now. So, uh, if you can tell in the face, the hair's grown long, the face has got fat. Ah, uh, it's a good time. Good time. Had like last year, it was like a stick last year. Started working out a lot recently. That's good news. That's always good. I wish I had the motivation to actually start. I know for a fact when I get stuck into it and I do it, I really enjoy it. And then like now, I just not been to the gym for years at this point. But I guess COVID didn't help, right? But, um, I mean, it's still around, but like everything's open back up again. You exist in but a single moment. I've got no excuse anymore. It's like how I said I was going to start learning to drive. And then COVID happened. Run out. 
And now, uh, now I've got no excuse. But also, fuel and cars, man. They are not, not cheap. I'm not sure I have that kind of money to buy a car and run it. Just got an ad for a dating app. I've still got Tinder installed on my phone, not that I'd use it, but uh, it keeps sending me notifications at like 3 a.m. Which, I don't know, I feel like as someone that lives in the UK, probably not, <laughs> probably not the best time to be sending me notifications. I'm assuming it's because, like, I work the night shift, and because, you know, around that time I'm usually, like, on my break. It thinks my phone's, like, sending it the information that I'm going to be awake around this time. So I guess that's why it keeps doing that. Need to get a driving license yourself. Thinking about getting an electrical car, though. Yeah. I mean, they are expensive electrical cars, but, you know, probably better for the environment in the long run. Probably? Maybe? I don't know. People complain about the power plants that they use to, like, make the electric, to charge the electric cars be not good for the environment, but I mean. I don't know. Like, the longer time goes on, the quicker petrol's gonna run out, so I feel like electric's the way to go, obviously. Because oil comes from, like, fossilized dinosaurs from millions of years ago. You can't just make that overnight. It will run out eventually. Surrender. I may yet oh! But back in a car too, but you think you'd have rather have a fat PC. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> ah, have we all seen the news about OTK? Like Asmongold or um doing the whole Starforged PCs thing. That's interesting. Whether you like them or you hate them, I think that's uh that's a pretty big step for an organization to actually invest in a computer building thing. Like the whole drama with Artisian builds, that was fun <laughs> a couple of months ago. No, you can charge for free and you don't have to pay road tax or whatever it's called. Oh my god, really? Wow. That's actually amazing. Renewable energy is getting a lot cheaper really fast. Simply be more profitable for everyone to use renewable. Yeah! Defensive. Bye, Illidan! Have an electric car here is super cheap. Loads of stuff you don't have to pay for. Ugh. That's so grim. Why do I live in a shit country? <laughs> Even if you completely fill your long range Tesla at home, it's going to total at less than five pounds. That's, that's so good. What what did Teslas do? About 300 miles or so on a full charge. From what I hear. I think it was about that, right? <laughs> At least you don't live in the US. Uh. <laughs> Have you ever seen, like, two supposed first world countries, like, pinnacle of everything, of just fallen so quickly over the past 
10, 15 years. It's been amazing, hasn't it? <laughs> What an absolute shit show both of our countries are. I don't know about that, but there's charging stations everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, true. Oh. Yeah, I've got no problems with that. 300 miles is more than I'd need it for in a given journey. Because that's like from... Oh, I wouldn't even like to say it. What is that? Like, London to Scotland? That's about 300 miles, right? <laughs> I might be way off there. Geography is not my strongest thing. Uh, London. Let's have a look. How how close was I? How How far away was I more likely? Let's... London, Scotland. It's about 468 miles. Okay, I was at 150 off. Well, depending where you go in Scotland, I guess. Okay, that's like in the heart of Scotland. How about if I went to like... Okay, to the border, it's about 325 miles. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. At least it makes for great memes. Yeah, our countries are pretty memeable at the moment. Need to go to the store, but you're way too tired after the making of the bed. <laughs> You've earned a rest. You can at least have an hour or so. Probably. Model 3 Tesla long range will let you drive 455 kilometers. See, that's, that's more than enough on a full charge, right? What does it take, like 40 minutes to charge it again? Maybe not full, but enough to like get you home or something. Alright, let's go pick up a mechanized chest. See if we can get the amiibo. You're getting six guests in three hours as well. Oh no. <laughs> Blastertron. That's not the amiibo that we want. I don't know how long it takes for you to get to your uh, to your store, but an hour's rest. Go to the store. Come back. Power through. Maybe. Some people might say an hour's rest after building the bed is way too much. But, you know what, I think people underestimate rest. That or I'm just incredibly lazy. One of the two. I like that I've gone to the boss where the aerial assault is as well. I didn't bother checking before I ran in here. Send reinforcements. Remain alert. Take ninety nine percent less damage. That's so gross. Emergency detonation imminent. Store is eight hundred meters away, ten minute walk, I'll chill a bit. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good. Ah, 
Charging. Let's boogie. You gotta make some food though, Beer. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Don't worry about it. Go for it. As long as it's good food. I'm actually gonna die here. That would suck. Don't like being stunned, that's no fun. Alright. Back in the swing of things. Let's kill this guy before he takes off. Can we? No. Maybe. There we go. Let's give you a little more juice. Ah, that's what stuns me. Okay. Now I know. Oh no, I pulled the spiders! I pulled everyone else! Frick. Yeah. Death in midair, death in midair! Frick. Okay. Yeah, my frame rate's trash. I think it must be because of NVIDIA broadcast. It's a shame. I don't think it's making my camera lag out, though. Break through the wall. Alright, let me change this real quick. The blurred background is nice, but is it worth the hassle? Probably not. Okay, there we go. Things should be a lot better now. I think I'm saying that, my frame rate's still not 60, that's kind of gross. World of Warcraft, the new crisis. Error. Mobility compromised. They brought out crisis on the Nintendo Switch, right? Does that run well? Sanitation required. I can't imagine under any circumstance that runs well at all. Or it just looks like absolute garbage. But I'm curious. Not that I really want to play it. System restored. I don't even know what the goal of Crisis was. I feel like I tried playing the single player and I didn't understand the story. It just seemed like you were dropped on an island and you killed people. And you had like special powers every now and again. Recalibrated. Massive toxicity levels detected. The toxicity of our city. Of our city. Sanitation 
Watch your step. Alright, let's get Gunker out of the way. This dungeon isn't so bad to run. It's probably one of the most dangerous ones out of all of them. Just because of the ad placement and everything. Maybe King's Rest is a close second because of that specific pack of trash that I keep dying to every so often. Alright, anything good? Nope. So yeah, we don't have to do the full dungeon here. We only do the first three bosses. And then it's the fourth one that actually drops them out. There are about eight bosses in this dungeon, I think. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. And it's currently in the... the mythic rotation for season four. They've brought back all of the all of the mega dungeons over the past couple of years have been brought back to current level 60 content for Mythic Plus this season. So we've got Operation Mechagon split into two parts. Uh, we've got the Return to Karazhan split into two parts, which I think is more than eight bosses, am I right? One, two, uh, those three are like one, technically. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, it's got eight bosses as well. Okay. Um, what's the other mega dungeon? Mechagon, Karazhan, Tazavesh. That's staying in the current rotation. And then we've got two Warlords dungeons that they've brought back as well, which are Grimrail Depot. And uh, Iron Docks, I think. Of all things. Loot tables so massive on these dungeons. Excellent. Warlords of Draenor was such a weird time. Stay away from range. I kind of miss the days of... Call me crazy. Call me a purist. A World of Warcraft purist. I kind of miss the days of... Like when dungeons, dungeon bosses drop very specific items. Like if you need a plate belt, you had to go to like raise a fen crawl or something. Um, Phase change. Okay. It's this one again. I don't like that in theory you could jump into any mythic dungeon and get any type of loot. I really like when the loot's themed, and it's not just, hey, generic helmet that you can get from all of the dungeons available. I suppose it's become that way a little bit more after Cataclysm with the introduction to Transmog, because not everyone wears the current sets. I think there's still a place for it. If you make cool sets that are current content, people will wear them. I mean, I know I don't have the full set now, but I'm currently wearing the current tier gear for Death Knights. I don't think it's the best tier set, but you know what? It's current. Oh god, I didn't realize I was finished that quick. Ah! Uh... Frick. All right, do we get him out from here today? No, we do not. Keep getting the blowtorch, though. I really like that weapon design. 
this is what I mean, right? Like, things like this, Mechagon sort of made a bit of a change to it. I think they have gone back to this in more recent expansions. You kill the big mechanical air thing, and you get a mechanical blow to blowtorch that drops off of it. I think that's cool. Like, yeah, there could be a mechanical blowtorch in, like, the cockpit of the flyy thing. Whereas this, like... I mean, Warlords, it kind of works. Like, this helmet. Like, this guy here. That's what he looks like. He's not even wearing a chest piece. And look, he drops, like... Five different chest pieces. You get five different colours of the... Oh, it's not even different colours. It's just different stat variants of this helmet. Like, who cares about that? Being so mad about loot. I need to calm down. Every t it's every time I play World of Warcraft, there's always something that annoys me. Which... <laughs> I feel like is the case with most World of Warcraft players over the past 10 years or so. This island is home to a multitude of All right. Detox. Detox. Yo. Let's do these all out of order. Let's go to Freehold next. I might be asking for too much, but I don't like that this mount doesn't like have any effects coming off of it when it flies. I think that's kind of weird. What is it? Let's see if we can get the parrot mount. Now this mount I really like. And for the majority of Season 3, like, these are the Keystone Master mounts. And in Season 1, it was like a black with sort of dark metal red gems on this decoration stuff. Uh, season 2 was a green one with sort of light bluey grey metal with blue gems in it. But they had effects. I don't know if we can actually see them. I didn't get them, because I didn't really play properly at the beginning of Shadowlands. Oh no, it looks like their spell effects have gone as well. Maybe they just deleted them. It used to be the case that this one had like green little effect dots that come out of its body. And it carried over to this one, so the mount was red, but it had green dots coming out of its body and it looked really off. But it looks like they have actually just removed it for all of them rather than changing it. That's kind of weird. Alright, let's go kill pirates. I take it this way now that we've learned we can skip literally every boss apart from the last one. Gotta kill the trash here though. We ain't going anywhere, friend. Neither are you. This is my favorite one out of all the BFA dungeons that I've got to run. It literally takes about two minutes. <laughs> Especially now, skipping the first boss. Oh, frick. Never mind. Didn't mean to pull those.
pull all the shamans while I'm here. That'll be a good show. Let's do it. Hey, Harlan. Taller men than you have opposed me, but they always came up short. What way? Did I only really pull two of the shamans? That's actually pretty good. I'll quite happily take that. Hmm, no parrot this week either. Unfortunate. Uh, Rez Okun is at the end here. Teleports us back. Which I only found out about a couple of weeks ago and never noticed him before. Sort of blends into the background. And now possibly for the longest out of all the dungeons. Go back to King's Rest. But potentially the coolest mount is either the parrot or this one that we can get. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Dungeons, BFA, Battle for Azeroth, King's Rest. This is the guy that we're after. It's a very cool looking mount. An undead raptor. That's not what we want. That's Siege of Baralis, right? Yes. Speak, That's not what we want either. Where am I looking? This guy. What business have you? There's something here. No. What do you mean you have a waterfall and you've put nothing behind it? Come on, Blizzard. <clears throat> oh, is it the, it's the Shadowlands dungeon event this week, right? So if you do like four mythic dungeons, you'll get a heroic raid item piece, <clears throat> which is like item level 291 or something ridiculous. <laughs> so at some point this week, I'm going to have to do that. Welcome to the tomb of the first troll king. Wish I could be there to greet you myself. My power has already taken root. Binding the ancient spirits to the will of my master. Right. Okay, not bad. I just skip those again. If only I could skip this boss, that'd make this place so much easier. Well, a little bit easier. This temple is 
under Cahoon's power. There's something about this trash that he spawns that I just do not like, though. Run, interrupt. Run. It is sort of easier to deal with it though if you do all your cooldowns on these guys. Interrupt. 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 And we get the little uh, serpent boss. The little gold fella. Oh, yeah, he's literally called the Golden Serpent. <laughs> I always forget his name. Run. Defensive. Dun, 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 dun. Defensive. Run. All right, find me towards the door. I go. You can't stand against the Sandalari. I wish these guys spawned in a lot quicker as well. The first one's not so bad. Like, it's near enough instant, but the ones after that take a while. Like, now we just wait around for like 10 seconds or something. Interrupt. Interrupt. I'm not going to interrupt your shadow bolt. What do you think is going to kill me? Interrupt. I'm a death knight. You think I'm scared? Oh, I keep meaning to ask, by the way, and I keep meaning to look into it. I don't know if anyone knows the answer. But did they. Did Blizzard say in a panel that. Are you able to make a death knight during wrath? pre-patch is that something they've said because I feel like in the back of my head somewhere they've mentioned this so I was thinking about it the other day like after I hit 70 it sort of hit me so I wanted to do 70 so I could do a bit of like Isle of Keldenas stuff see you know maybe not end game so I'm probably not going to do heroics or raids anytime soon but I just wanted to see what, like, the level 70 questing experience was like. Which, by the way, is very fun. But I feel like... And I wanted to I wanted to do the pre-patch on my warrior. At level 70, I wanted a character at max level so I could enjoy the pre-patch. And take part in it a little bit. But I feel like... I feel like they've said at some point that you can you can make a death knight during pre-patch. In fact, can I do it while I do this run down here? Wrath classic death knight creation. Become a death knight in Wrath of the Lich King classic. Okay, this might be... Oh, hang on. Once Wrath of the Lich King Classic Pre-Expansion Update arrives, you'll be able to create a l and level a Death Knight and level Death Knight characters. Here's how it works. Your first Death Knight created in any realm is free of restrictions except for fresh start realms that will open with the Pre-Expansion patch. Oh, yeah, right. There's the fresh start ones. I forgot about those. Any Death Knight created after your first one must be on a different realm and requiring an existing level 55 character on the same realm. You may only have one Death Knight per realm. Okay, so that's how it used to be back in the day. Ha. Huh. So you can make it during the pre-expansion patch. So, better question then. How long is the pre-expansion patch meant to be? I feel like it was about a month. 
like when Wrath originally released. Or it felt like a month, mainly because of the plague thing and dying every three seconds. I'm pretty sure, like my rogue was like, as I say, I think my rogue was like level 64 by the time that Wrath had come out. But I feel like I was playing my level 19 undead mage at that point, for some reason. This temple is under Gahoon's power. So I remember being in Orgrimmar with the plague happening. Actually, no. I wasn't. I don't think I was playing when the Zolgorub Plague was a thing. No, I, I definitely don't think I was playing World of Warcraft back then. Although, I did have a free trial. I'm pretty sure I was in Orgrimmar. And uh, my undead mage just kept dying literally every th every time I rezzed, I was dead instantly again. Because everyone was like level 70. And uh, once you turn into a zombie, that's a big level difference. You're like insta-tagged for PvP. Died instantly. So I think, if I remember correctly, right, the ghouls that you turn into when the plague happens, they've got, like, a suicidal explosion. Oh, okay, never mind. I feel like that explosion AoEs a large crowd. That's wild though, making a DK during pre-patch, that changes a lot of stuff for me. This pre-patch is currently on the PTR. I wonder how fast I could level a DK. I'm sure even if the pre-patch is only two weeks, that's more than enough to um, actually level a DK. Like, probably level 2 or 3 in that time frame. Especially with how OP they are. But the thing is, I'd have to play it every single day. And that's not something I can do. Attack Totem. Attack Totem. Very polite. Oh my god, free t-shirt day next week. Wow. I can't contain myself. I don't think you actually get any good t-shirts though, dude. If you could get like the epic t-shirt. The purple epic shirt, whatever it's called. I feel like I'd take part in it then. Oh, they just do damage. I thought the axes knocked you back for some reason. Oh, they do. Okay, yeah, I'm dumb. I must have had death's advance on.
There we go, that's more like it. Last week we had four mobs here because the world quest was up. I'm looking the wrong way. No. Okay. Sounds like the evil chick from Power Rangers. Hey Grumpy, how's it going, buddy? Did it sound like... I, I, I don't remember much of Power Rangers, to be quite honest. I... I had a weird... I had a weird sort of like relationship with Power Rangers. Like when it first started becoming cool, I felt like I was too old for it. And I probably would have been like four or five. I was just being that cocky four or five year old for some reason. I don't know why I thought I was too cool for it when it definitely wasn't. But then I did get into it for a little bit. But I didn't really pay attention to much of it. So I'd started falling in love with, like, Bionicle by then, I'm pretty sure. Bionicle was my shit. I used to get all the comics. Defensive. Time to bleed. None can withstand my blade. You have broken Zeus horn. I serve that swine no longer. Yeah, you're welcome. Bizarre. Freed me from a cruel feat. Do we get the undead raptor mount? We have got zero mounts today. Can we finish up with one? Pray to our and Jesus. We've got the head of an undead raptor. Does that count? I don't think it does. That's unfortunate. We do, in theory, have... We could do one more mount run. We could do Nighthold again on the rogue. And you know what? For old time's sake, old time being last week, we will do it. Oh, we're not doing garrison invasions. I don't think I did a garrison invasion last week. The flow of time is very odd to me. I can never remember things in a normal order. My thoughts and timeline are very scattered. Alright, let's go do last run of Nighthold. One more run. One more run. I don't know whether we go to WoW Classic after this, or... I play something else. It's been a while since I've played something else. I mean, I know we literally just played Final Fantasy about an hour ago. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood for Monster Hunter or Fall Guys at the minute. Fall Guys I'm more in the mood for. Like, I could play that casually. Played it the other day on my Switch. And the 30 frames a second is pretty rough. It's not just, it's like the game runs at 30 frames a second, which is, you know, bearable for the Switch. I don't mind that. But the character animations, <laughs> like 5 to 10 frames? Very weirdly, it looks like I'm watching Spider-Man, the multiverse cartoon thing. Which is great, because aesthetically that looked amazing. But when you're playing a game and your character's like 
three times the frame rate of everyone else and your frame rate is still slow. Just kind of a bit, a bit shit. Yeet. All right, Mythic Raid. Let's go. <clears throat> One more run. One more run. Should really use this. I keep forgetting I've got this trinket that does AoE damage. Should be able to just clean these off hopefully not quite okay that didn't go too bad I foresaw your coming of course she did I've been here every week for the past few weeks but she foresaw my coming my people faced a similar dilemma. And sounds impressed by that fact. All possible futures in search of an answer. And found only one. The Legion's victory is inevitable. Every time stream shows it to be so. Had we resisted, they would have taken the night will by force and left us bereft of it. I could not allow my people to starve. To waste away without its energy sustaining us. So a bargain was struck. Now I see a future where the Legion is victorious and my people endure. This is the thread that... <laughs> Stop to coming back. I, I, I should. Sure. <laughs> everything in my power to make it so. Yeah, I don't come back one week. The future of the and she still does the same spiel. Come forward, then. I foresaw you're coming. I'll speed you towards your fate. All right, let's go. Big ad. Big ad. Phase two. You exist in but a single moment. I am far less limited. I always love time stop features in MMOs. Watch your step. I don't know why. Run out. I like World of Warcraft, but Final Big Fantasy out. did it so much better with the uh was it the Omega raid? No? What was no the Alexander raid, that was it. It's like a, not to spoil any of the story for the Alexander raid, but there's a, like a time loop. Run out. You fight a raid boss. It's like stuck in a time bubble, you fight a raid boss, and you like go into a different part of the raid, and you can see yourself fighting the previous boss while you're fighting the next step. boss. There's a lot of wibbly wobbly time shit with that raid. Very, very fun to do.
catch balls. Slipping away. How can it be so? I'm slipping away. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> In all the possible futures I scry, I, I did not foresee what it would One more run. One more run. I am unstoppable. My will one. is unbreakable. For Sargeras, no Phase more distractions. Two. Watch I your step. Have work to do. Surrender. Uh, show mercy. Run out. I don't think I did Tormentors of Torghast last week either. So many things to like keep track of in retail WoW that I just tend to forget about. Like, I'm pretty sure I've complained about the... There's a quest called Froggit in Zerith Mortis, and I've not checked to see if it's up today actually. It not been up for about 40 odd days. And, like, the past couple of days, the few days where I've not played Retail WoW, obviously it comes up for the first time in 40 days and I miss it completely. Of course I miss it. So if it's going to be, like, another 40 days, I'm going to be so annoyed. It's not up today. I'm so mad. And presume to challenge its master! Such arrogance! Yeah, yeah. Hold the shadow of what is to come. The endless darkness that shall consume your world. Looking you back. You are not prepared! Feel the power of the demon within! Spread. Four, three, two, four, one. Three, three, three. Behold the one. flames of Azanar. Spread. Spread. Our defensive. Spread. What the hell did my chat message? Oh, right, okay. It's because uh, the parasites, every time they spawn on me. Okay, this is not going well. Why am I... Help? The the parasites that spawn on me cause me to say parasite on me in the chat box. And because so many parasites were there, I'd sent too many messages and it would like soft lock me out from chatting. That's good. All right, do we get a mount? Any mounts this week? That is a big fat no. Alright. Well, another week. Another disappointment. It is what it is. Ugh. I don't have any mail on my bank alt. I need to get people to sign my charter on my classic bank alt. Question is, has anything sold though? That's the main thing. Got the best deals anywhere. 
<laughs> no, I've only got three things on. That belt still isn't selling. Nobody seems to want it. Someone will buy it eventually. I'm sure. 100% sure. Um... Right, I guess that's Shadowlands. 